We find our world in times of trouble. Corruption, war and poverty are rife, and with all the mainstream political parties offering exactly the same things, it's hard to know which way to vote to actually make a change. But now, there's another option. The United Evil Party. Hi, I'm Edward Coles, face of evil. We pledge, as no other party can, to end all of these problems once and for all. All lying, cheating, and selfish politicians get lost in convoluted problems that not even they fully understand. We can achieve our aims with one simple act. The complete eradication of humanity. If we are elected, our great abhorrent god Cthulhu will rise again and destroy absolutely everything. Those that most deserve punishment shall be devoured last, so that they may suffer to the full extent under our rule. Giant nuclear rats will be unleashed into all major cities. People will be made to work on community projects such as construction of the third Death Star. And everything that can be burned... will be. But what exactly is evil, you're wondering? We asked John Spong, CEO of the Institute of Evil. Evil is an inherently human thing. Other animals fight to survive, but humans think about it. They meditate upon what the suffering of others can gain them. And so starts the cycle of lying, cheating, and murdering. So here at the Institute of Evil, we asked, what's the solution? And it's obvious, we asked. We stop the problem at its source. We fight evil with a greater evil. First, our policy of awakening our great and abhorrent god Cthulhu, who shall not rest until he has devoured every last one of us. Unlike other parties, we are not selfishly campaigning for the good of humanity, but for the good of the world. A world where, once mankind has been duly punished and obliterated, there is no evil. But what can the United Evil Party do for you personally? A vote for us means being devoured first, saving you from the suffering to come. We offer equal opportunities, as all of us are equally doomed. Curly villain moustaches will become compulsory school uniform, though girls may offer a small goatee if they wish. No more taxes. No more years. And money, the love of which is the source of much human evil, shall be abolished, and then set on fire and thrown at people. But don't take it from me, let's ask someone who's actually tried all this. So there you have it. The United Evil Party has something in store for everyone. A vote for us is a vote for the world. The United Evil Party. Why choose a lesson?